On the infection management side, hyperbaric has two main mechanisms at work. Number one, it increases the oxygen systemically. And number two, it improves your immune system's ability to fight infection on its own. It literally helps improve and activate white blood cells for a more effective and a more robust response to an invader. On the hyperoxygenation side, particularly for anaerobic infections, primarily anaerobic bacteria or anaerobic mold, that higher level of oxygen can really help create an environment that's not conducive for those organisms to be able to live. So just by creating that environment, it's already putting a lot of pressure on those microbes and creating a hostile environment where they cannot thrive. As we then create a more robust immune system and build a much stronger defense against these microbes, the immune system could do its job, which is to fight those infections more effectively. There's been a number of concerns about, well, what about an aerobic infection? And is it unfavorable then to utilize hyperbaric when we're dealing with aerobic infections, which actually live in an oxygen environment? And while I have not seen any studies associated with that concept, clinically, what I could say is it appears that the effect that hyperbaric is having on the building of the immune system and improving that person's immune system to fight infection seems to supersede any potential feeding of an aerobic infection that we might be doing. So I have not seen a patient get worse or have an infection spread because we're utilizing hyperbaric. I've only actually seen that using hyperbaric with infection does seem to help that patient manage and move through that infection in a much more favorable way.